everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So today I'm bringing you another quick instant pot type recipe. And I really can't even call this a recipe because of the fact that we're just gonna cook butternut squash in our instant pot. And I just wanted to show you how easy this is to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut my butternut squash. And then we're going to pop that into our Instant Pot. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how I cut mine. And then we'll come back and start our Instant Pot from there. So I have just a decent size, I mean, here's my hand. So just a decent size butternut squash here. I'm just gonna cut the top of this one off and I'm gonna cut the bottom off. And then I'm gonna cut it here You really definitely want to have a sharp knife when you do this. And then I'm going to cut this part in half. Oh, there we go. This is the easier of the two to cut into half because of the fact that this one is the part that has the seeds in it. And then we're going to cut this one. Oh, this one's going to go pretty easy. I just sharpened my knife, so whew, good thing I did that. All right, so I'm going to grab a spoon. We're going to scoop the seeds out of this one. I told you this is gonna be a quick, easy recipe. So I'm just gonna scoop the seeds out. Just scoop them right out on here. It's so tough sometimes to get them out. And then you, you throw some in the floor so that you can clean that up later. That's always the fun part. All right, so I've got that out of one. I'm just gonna clean the cavity a little bit more. So you can see how I did that. Okay, I'm gonna struggle with the other one off camera, so hang tight. Okay, so we've got our four pieces ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these two into one more section because I think that those are gonna take a little longer to cook because they're bigger. So we're just going to get ahead of the game and just go ahead and slice these two. All right, so we've got those ready. Let's get these into the Instant Pot. And if you guys didn't notice, my cutting board did not slip because I put a wet paper towel underneath it. Hopefully you can see that. Because I always forget to do that. And then what happens is my cutting board moves all over. And I just, I like these little, these little plastic ones because they're so easy to clean up and it just I can grab them and they're easy to store so okay enough of that said. Alright so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move you over. Okay I think that's a pretty good view. So I went ahead and put about a cup and a half of water into my instant pot and then I have my trivet in here. So we're just gonna go ahead and layer these pieces into our instant pot. We're gonna put the top on. We're gonna plug it in. Plugging it in might be a good thing. All right, so we've got it plugged in, and had I had it plugged in before, it would have sang us our little tune. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring you down and show you the front so that you can see the operation buttons. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on high pressure, and we're gonna take it down to six minutes. And then, I'm gonna try not to shake it too much here. I'm gonna bring you back here and show you that I have our button on sealing. If I had it this way, it'd be on venting, so we definitely want that to seal so that our little button comes up and comes to pressure. So we're gonna go ahead and let this get started, and when that's done, I will come back. We're gonna do a quick release, which means I'm gonna hit that little sealing venting knob on the back this one and then we're gonna let the pressure out so stay tuned we'll come back and we will finish this one up okay so as soon as you see your instant pot start to do a little bit of hissing over here and you can see a little bit of steam coming out as you see it it's moving ready and we're sealed sometimes I catch this sometimes I don't because normally I'm multitasking at this point because I just leave this alone so Instant Pot sealed, it's now going to cook 
for the six minutes. Um, this just means that now that it's sealed, it will come to pressure. Once it hits pressure, that's when the countdown starts coming on the time. So now we wait. Okay, so our time is up. I'm just gonna flip our little lever here. And let our pressure out. So once the pressure comes out, our little pin will drop. I kind of lost track of time and this went for a little bit longer than I wanted it to, so there wasn't a ton of pressure in there. It went for like eight minutes. It just kind of sat in the pot after the cook time for eight minutes. Maybe I should clarify that. So it should release the pressure really, really quick today. Almost done. There it is. All right, so once that pin drops, you know that your Instant Pot is ready to be opened. It's safe. You can, you can safely open the top. So I'm just going to pull that off. And there is our butternut squash. So as soon as this cools off a little bit and it's, it's safe to handle, I'm going to go ahead and scoop this out of the shell. And then I'm just going to put it in, in a container, which I will show you, and then just serve this later. So I don't know if I want to use this as sweet or savory, so I'm not going to put any type of seasonings on this yet, but that's how they look. So super excited. Hold on, let me grab a knife. I can show you how tender these are. Try not to jar you too much, but look. Look how tender that is. And if you see these little white crystals, these are actually sugar. This is the sugar, the natural sugars that have, have, um, that's collected on the top from it cooking. So look at that, so tender. All right, so as soon as this cools off, I'll put this into a container and I'll show you how much one butternut squash will yield. Okay, so our butternut squash has cooled down. So I'm gonna go ahead and I think I can handle it now. I'm just gonna grab these. Yeah, this is much better. Let's see if I've got you on camera. And I'm just going to scoop this out of the shells. So you just have to be very careful, get it out of there. And I'm just trying to follow along the line just to get the actual butternut squash out. Got a little piece of it there, so I'll just scoop that off. And just going to continue doing this, and then we're going to see how much one butternut squash yields. So I'll come back and show you how much we got. Um, how much we have. That's probably proper English there. Um, all right, so stay tuned. All right, so it looks like I have an entire meal prep container prepped and ready to go. This is probably going to be at least four servings, I would say. Um, there's about two to two and a half cups of butternut squash here. So just glad to have this done and out of the way because now I can have this as a side dish and when we're having dinners and I need something extra just on the side, it's, it's already prepped and ready to go. So it's just one less thing that I need to do during the week when we're having dinners. All right, so with that said, I hope that you liked today's video. Um, I hope it was nice and quick and easy, and I hope that you give this a try in your kitchens. Now, as always, if you're not subscribed to my channel, just go ahead and hit that little subscribe button. And if you wanna leave a comment or give me a thumbs up, please feel free, I love hearing from you. So with that said, have a great day and we'll see you next time.